we want to talk about Amber Absolute by Tom Ford. The notes in this are amber, incense, vanilla, olibanum, labdanum, and woody notes. Very kind of classic looking, you know, smoky, sweet, amber type of lineup of notes there. This is creamy with a rich vanilla that's tempered pretty well by the woodsier and smokier side as well. So it doesn't go too far in the like over the top sweet direction. And there's enough sweetness that it also doesn't get too like darkly resinous, balsamic, smoky, if that's not your thing. It smells very high quality, very like decadent, I would say, but not in a stuffy or, you know, stuck up type of way. Mm, yeah, it's pretty good. To my nose, it would totally still be really likely to be mass feeling, um, mass pleasing and compliment pulling in public. Pretty unisex. And I also think that it would come across as pretty sexy in the right context too. And without smelling too try hard, but just having this like refined yet not badass, but like yeah, like je ne sais quoi or whatever type of thing to it. Great longevity and projection as well. This is discontinued. Why Tom Ford is like I was <laughs> saying this to someone else recently, the Trader Joe's of fragrance, where they just like hook you on something that you like, and then they get rid of your favorite thing. And somehow all the ones you don't like are still there. I don't know why I'm saying that like I care that much about most Tom Ford fragrances, but of the ones that I do tend to gravitate towards, it seems like often they have been discontinued. But yeah, I think this is very good, and uh, I will link in the description where you can get a sample or a decant, because those are still available some places.